Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Monday evening to those watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. First on the news, the most anticipating court session of today. It was the court session of Andre Blackman Brand and other accused members of the Klansman gang. Now today in court, it was to hear whether they will go free or be guilty and placed in prison for a number of years. Now what I found very intriguing and very sad but laughable is black man quoting scriptures today in the courtroom. Andre Blackman Brand quoting scriptures to profess his innocent to say he wasn't behind or he wasn't a mastermind of a number of killings him and his gang were accused of doing in Spain Town and Portmore other areas in Jamaica but you know these criminals you know them take God for a joke let's be real them only know God and use God's name like God is a card where them can pull any time and walk free from sentencing or get out of jail free card. Hear him to know? Isaiah 18 verse 1 Thou said the Lord, May your sins be as scarlet, they shall be whiter than snow, though they shall be red like crimson, they shall be like wool. And it goes on and on and on. Even accuse the witnesses as being blatant liars. And tell the judge that he grew up fatherless, didn't have an education, but he is a conscious man. What conscious man is going to direct members of his gang to carry out killings across Spanish town and other parishes? This man take God for a joke. And it pains my heart to see criminals use God's name as if God is a clown. As if God is somebody who them can just call in name and them can walk free. But my point of view, you know, in my view opinion, I would not be surprised if black man goes free. I would not be surprised if other members of Klansman Gang walk free because Justice Sykes have been releasing these criminals on the street again and these same criminals are causing mayhem in Spain Town so I would not be surprised if Justice Sykes who is a defender of criminals a defender of criminals let black man go free because according to him you know there is not enough evidence even though the evidence are there we have the witness and the evidence him still let go some of these criminal elements who were members and still are members of the clansman gang so i wouldn't be surprised if black man goes free and the verdict finds him not guilty but you see Black man can quote as many scriptures as he wants because some of the most wickedest persons in the world they are the ones who always quote scriptures, Bible verses talking about the sick God. But behind the scene, them wicked and evil Satan himself. But I can tell you right now. I won't be surprised if black man goes free and other members of the gang who are on trial right now or their sentences reduced to a significant amount. All I feel sorry for are the innocent persons who are living in Spain town because if black man goes free, I can tell you Spanish town will turn upside down. There'll be 
a huge number of dead bodies piling off and there will be a huge amount of bloodshed bloodbath so justice judge sykes if you let black man walk free now i can tell you you're going to have sleepless nights and the blame will be on you because we know you know you are a criminal sympathizer you love to let criminals walk free because based on your foolish knowledge there is no amount of evidence even when the evidence there is concrete still in the parish of St. Catherine, Old Arbor to be exact where on Saturday night a cab driver was shot and killed by criminal elements also his car stolen by these same gunmen now that is Lambert Simpson who them call Algi who is 51 years of age of Linnanville Road in Old Arbor, St. Catherine now based on information Simpson had just driven his Toyota Pro Box motor vehicle to his home where he was approached and attacked by criminal elements now those gunmen shot Simpson more than once then those same criminal elements stole his vehicle but later on left it abandoned nearby Lambert Simpson aka Algi was found with multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body then he was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead so far there's no motive as to why he was attacked and killed the police are investigating No, it was Grand Spain to be exact, where Sunday afternoon it was bloody once again along Shortwood Lane in Grand Spain, St. Andrew. Now, three men were shot, two injured at a construction site along Shortwood Lane. Now, based on information, gunmen pulled up in an Oxio. Those gunmen came from Oxio and fired several shots, hitting three men unfortunately two died while one is hospital battling for his life now there is shane brooks and also gawain harvey both of grand spain avenue the same grand spain avenue where josh's brother david clark is from the same avenue where josh is from and grew up on now, many persons thought this was a reprisal for the killing of Josh's brother. No, it's a continuation by rivals killing men from Grand Spain Avenue. Now, men from Grand Spain Avenue is in war with a different community. That's why we see continuous shooting in Grand Spain. Now we head back to Friday morning's fatal crash to a life of a Spanish teacher who is Daniel Blake. Now, unfortunately, that crash to a life of the driver you see on your screen right now, who them call Hector. Now, based on information, Hector was driving his taxi with passengers along Fontill Main Road in St. Elizabeth when they collided with a truck, which was driven by an individual who is from America. Now, two persons have died from that crash so far, while others remain seriously injured. To the family of Hector, condolences and may rest in peace. Still in the parish of St. Elizabeth, yesterday afternoon, a next crash claimed the life of an ice cream vendor, a vendor who has been selling ice cream for several years in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Now dead is Clifton Witter, who is 74 years of age, of middle quarters in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Now yesterday about one o'clock, Mr. Witter rode his motorcycle along the Whitehall Main Road when he crashed into Toyota Axio vehicle. Clifton Witter, aka officer, received several injuries. He died at the hospital. Over the weekend, there have been three 
fatal crashes in the parish of St. Elizabeth. We head towards the parish of Westmoreland where persons have been dropping left, right and centre when it comes down to murders. Either by the gun, by a machete, by a knife or even an object. Now that is Kenton Salman of Burn Savannah in the parish of Westmoreland. Now Kenton Salman died by the hands of his mentally ill cousin. Now his cousin, who is of unsound mind, used the object to hit Kenton Salman several times all over the body. Now Kenton Salman died on the spot. The police are investigating. Now we don't know if the cousin is now in police custody. This is very, very sad. Once again, mayhem in the parish of Westmoreland. This is Jay Crazy. News again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Monday evening. Yeah, man. I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow. Jay Crazy not play with him and review the thing. Then Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow. Jay Crazy not play with him and review the thing. Then. Be the thing, then be the thing, then crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Be the thing, then be the thing, then Jack